lunch and visiting a very magical house. Okay, some clues about where I'm walking this week. Historically, wool and latterly silk has played an important role in the town's success. And there are still five manufacturers working in the town today, making this the UK capital of silk. For literary fans, 101 Dalmatians pass through here. And if you fancy a brush with fame, they're very proud of their favourite son, the artist Thomas Gainsborough. Welcome to the ancient market town of Sudbury. You can't visit Sudbury without taking a walk through its stunning water meadows. Which were immortalised in the works of Sudbury's own Thomas Gainsborough. It was said of Gainsborough, nature was his teacher and the woods of Suffolk his academy. Not that pooches seem to care about that. Have you got a culture? <laughs> the meadows are a haven for wildlife, in particular dragonflies and kingfishers. So aptly named. Isn't that amazing? They're maintained by Nick Shimwell and dedicated volunteers from the Sudbury Common Lands Charity. So Nick, they look utterly gorgeous, but what makes these meadows so special? Their longevity, they've been great for at least a recorded 800 years, certainly makes us quite unique, yeah. at least in this part of the country. I mean, we are slap bang on the edge of town, so if people just walk out of their houses and come to get that much value, time and green space, which as we know is so important for everybody's mental health these days. While dragonflies can be hard to spot, you can't miss the stars of the meadows. They take their cows very seriously here in Sudbury. And the cattle are here grazing on the grass. It's not you trying to save money on your mode. Absolutely not. No. Cattle, as a grazing animal, they create a very diverse swarm by using their tongues. They wrap around the grass and they pull it up and you get varying heights. And that makes more diverse niches for flora and invertebrates. There we go. Thank you very much, Jen. Thank you. Always happy to help. As long as it's right here, right now, not tomorrow or next week. I understand from a reliable source that it's quite a big moment around here when the cows are released into the meadow. Yes, we do have our own local quirky ceremony. So every five years, we, the cattle get turned on. And it's turning on. Exactly. Well, I'll change the battery, you switch them on. <laughs> yes, and as part of that, the mayor of Sudbury comes down and they have the wonderful privilege of tasting the grass before the cattle do to check that it is good for them to eat. Mm, a little hint of Labrador, a bit of a poodle. Time to leave the meadows now, ideally not taking the cattle with me because it's time to get ship shape on board the John Constable on the River Stour. How far can we go now, Jim? Oh, that's out about five miles an hour. Oh, steady on. Run by the River Stour Trust, this beautifully restored vessel, known as a lighter, is captained by Jim and his crew of volunteers. Originally horse drawn, it would have transported goods along the River Stour to and from the coast unloading from larger ships, making them lighter. It might seem like a silly question, but why the John Constable? Most of the information for restoring it comes from John Constable's paintings. Can you tell me the significance of this, please? <laughs> so his picture, boat building at Flatford, it's quite visible, a little tar pot, which they use for sealing the planks. Are you saying this is a pot, Jim? We like to think so, yeah. Yes, I like to think so. I think we should go with that. If you fancy a cruise on the John Constable, your fare will be used to maintain the river. Uh, oh, don't worry. Oh, worry. And don't worry, I won't be steering. Nothing to worry about. It's all in control. And the only thing in Southwark more wobbly than my steering are some of the houses in Lavenham. Located just up the road from Sudbury, Lavenham is known as England's best preserved medieval village and has over 300 listed buildings. Couldn't begin a tour without an ice cream now, could I? Mm. Oh, those giant ones. Mm. The Lavenham's wealth came from wool, and at the peak of their success, this tiny village was paying more in tax than Lincoln and York. And for Harry Potter fans, on the lookout for fantastic houses and where to find them. The Vere House is one of the most photographed front doors in the UK. Because the front of this grade one listed house was recreated for the Harry Potter movies as the boy wizard's birthplace in Godric's Hollow. By the way, if you've got any friends who are Harry Potter fans, this place is a B&B. Can you imagine how much they'd love you if they could stay here? What a present. 
And after that piece of pop culture, it's time to pop into the local tea room. Because I think I've earned a quintessentially English afternoon tea in a quintessentially English village. It's the end of a blissful day. Yeah. So I've always looked for them. Apparently it's been breakfast at the house, so I've asked for a scared to stay there on my own. It looks amazing. It does.